Hey guys, Arden here. Welcome to Pro Singer Success Collective. It's Coach Annie Day. So Thanks. some of you may know, Annie is one of our expert technique coaches who works under me in the program with a lot of our singers in our intensive training program and in Vocality Lab. And I have asked her here today because not only is she like an incredible coach and teacher, but she's also a, an incredibly successful performer. And she has been on a lot of auditions in her day, many that went her way, many that did not go her way. <laughs> <laughs> and so I thought it would be really great for you to hear from her in her point of view, not just from a technique point of view, but just from like a lot of time in the saddle point of view around auditions. So you can kind of mine some gold from her uh, as we talk about auditions. So welcome. Thank you. So the question that I you know, asked Danny if we could talk about today was, tell me about your worst audition ever. And then tell, <laughs> me, and then tell me about your best, your, some of your best. So let's do it. Yeah, I love to. And you know, I have two very, very different sets of data. I have data from about, you know, 10, 15 years ago before I had done all of this work stomping around New York trying to make something happen. And then I have data from after I've done all this work. And it's so interesting to see how these different things have manifested. So at the worst auditions, I'm going to say so many of them 15 years ago when I was here in New York trying to make something happen because I would walk into the room with such an intense need and desire to desperate will to get a job. And it was actually that energy of like, love me, please, please, please love me that really sabotaged my chances to actually stand in my own power and be noticed. So how many of you guys relate to this? <laughs> when you go to an audition, it's like, please pick me, please pick me. Let me show you how good I am. Let me show you that I'm the one, like, please, please, please. Like, do you guys relate to this when it comes to how you show up to auditions and maybe even how you show up to performances, which is like, love me, validate me, tell me that I'm good, buy my, buy, buy my tickets, buy my t-shirts, buy my record, give me the part, you know, all, give me the standing ovation, right? Okay, so I just want to make sure that you guys understand, like, you are not alone. And like Annie has sung in, in Lincoln Center, in Carnegie Hall, she has sung in Radio City, she's sung on the West Coast, on the East Coast, like, and still like this. So I want you guys to understand that, like, you're not alone in this. All right, so. Right. Yeah, I mean, I felt like a volcano. Looking back, I was a volcano walking into the room, spewing my goo everywhere, which nobody likes. But on the other hand, I think about one specific audition where I just happened to luck into the right energy. It was my audition for Radio City Music Hall to be in the Christmas Spectacular, which was something that I decided to do on a whim. I just happened to be on a break from the national tour I was on. And for me, finally booking that national tour gave me that lift in my sales of like, I, I, I am great. I can do this. I've already proven to myself that I'm good. And so I walked into that audition on a break from this job, knowing that I was about to go do this really spectacular, fun, international portion of this tour. Like, hey, that was like that was Shrek, right? Yeah, Shrek. And I was like, I don't need anything from you. This is fun for me. So I'm good. And I walked into that audition and I remember specifically, here's another mistake, friends. Don't put a key change right at the beginning of your audition cut. That is that is just not that smart. But me, I did it. <laughs> and I remember that the piano, the piano started and then a horrible like car plunk where he didn't get the key change, not his fault. And I remember that rather than like going, oh my God, everything just went wrong. It was funny. And I just flat out laughed. I just laughed and the people behind the table laughed too. And I was just like, oh, this is so comfortable. It's no big deal. I'll go speak to him. We'll begin again. That was hilarious. <laughs> but yeah. like, what's the mindset you came in with? Because you were in the mindset of somebody who already was owning her career, already was owning because of the external circumstance of having been on this big equity tour and then coming into this other audition and you didn't need the job. 
I didn't need it. And that energy was what allowed me to not take it so seriously. And I think that moment made a huge impact in that process because they looked at somebody who said, oh, she can take off a mistake. That's she's just like unshakable and nothing's going to face her. She can mess up and she can get right back up again and and nail it. And I think that made all the difference in the world. And, you know, that just happened to be luck at the time for me and very, very fortunate timing. But that mindset absolutely changed my life. And, you know, post this work, I have found that I have done so many fewer auditions with so much more success because I have crafted my mindset so that it's so much more similar to the one that I just happened to luck into. Um, you know, Arden, when we worked together, you helped me book The Witch and in Into the Woods, which was like another dream role that I didn't know that I had. And I was doing this work so that I felt validated on my own terms so that I could show up owning it, having fun and not really caring about the outcome. So this is what I want you guys to get because Annie is our expert technique coach, but she understands that what allows her to coach you guys in technique and i mean i coach you guys in technique what allows us to be so successful to do that is because she understands that technique is not optimized in a vacuum mm -hmm. that in order for that technique to show up in situations that count that's all what's going on up here and you might have been picking up on the fact that annie was one of my singers, one of my students before I brought her in. And we are so lucky to have her like to coach in the program because this woman can sing anything. And I don't say that lightly. She has some of the best technique and, you know, she worked in the intensive training program in order to really cultivate these skills. So to be able to have somebody, not just me, but another person, another set of ears, another perspective who understands the connection deeply and personally between mindset and technique, mindset and skill set, so that when she's coaching the singers in our program, she's not doing it just from the, the place of mm -hmm. up from here down and neglecting this as well. And so being able to coach and sing and perform and audition with a much more integrated mind body connection. So what are some of those things that you then, cause you said it was an accident the first time, but mm -hmm. what were those things that you, that really helped you to consciously cultivate in your mindset so that when you went to the into the woods audition, which was a couple of years later after doing this work, you were able to still have that same confidence, even though not only did you not have a job going into that, into the woods audition, but it had been coming out of COVID. You hadn't, you hadn't auditioned in. I had barely auditioned, <laughs> maybe three auditions before I'd done that audition. I mean, I feel like this was one of the first auditions you did in like three it years absolutely after, was. after it COVID. No accident. It is no accident. Uh, you know, one of the things that our working together really taught me was that I am not an island and that I don't have to be a singular genius and that I can work with people to prepare, to be ready, to be my best self, to do the thing that I need to do. And that it's great. Like if I speak with someone about the acting and I speak with someone about the singing, it's just more nutrition in the well to help me become the best me. I don't have to do it alone. One of the other things that I really, really learned and took away from this was the giving thanks and the visualization for an amazing result as if it's already happened. So I would visualize that I was already cast as this part and doing it. And dwelling in that energy like took the pressure off of me being in the energy so hard of trying to get something because I already had it in my mind. And so I just got to play with it. But that's huge because see you guys, the mind is very powerful 
And in the first audition that for the, um, uh, not Carnegie Hall, uh, the Radio City, the Radio City, I know too many New York venues in my mind. The first audition for Radio City, you you did have another high profile gig that you were coming off of. So that was actual in the material world. Mm -hmm. Now, P.S., now coming into the Into the Woods audition, you created the circumstance of that energy in your mind by doing these future visualizations. And the mind is so powerful, guys. It doesn't really know whether it's real or not. I mean, how many of you have had a dream where you're like being chased and then you wake up from the dream and you're like, you're sweating and your heart is beating fast and you, you know, nobody's behind you. And yet that's how powerful the mind is that it created that circumstance in your body. So using these, what we call future thank yous, future visualizations, giving thanks as though it were already done, you're creating the circumstance in your body in the exact same way that the external circumstance of already having the job, you know, five years before when you did the Radio City audition, it shows up in the exact same way because your, your body doesn't know the difference. Your mind is that powerful. So when you showed up in that audition, what happened? There was just a level of relaxation and a level of inner knowing and a level of, well, why, why do I care? I'm not going to hold myself back in any way because I am not attached to needing something in this specific moment. In this specific moment, I'm just going to have a ball. Right. Because in your mind, you didn't need anything in your mind. It was done. You already had the part. So can you give us an example of what that future thank you celebration uh, sounded like? So for those of you, sure, who, yeah. you know, for those of you who are like, I don't really know what she's talking about, about like visualizing future thank you. So what, what does that look like? Sure, absolutely. So I'll either, there's a couple ways you can do it. You know, people are all different and things resonate differently. So I would either write something down or I would speak it out loud and it would be something to the effect of, Thank you so much. We just had opening night for Into the Woods and I cannot believe how much fun I had getting out there, being a terrible, nasty, vulnerable, heartbroken witch, just living it up. I had the best time and I can't wait to do it again tomorrow night. Thank you. You guys see how juicy and powerful that was? There was juicy language. It was, I was vulnerable and I was nasty and I cannot wait. And it was, and I mean, listen, I wasn't even doing the future. Thank you. And I'm listening to Annie do it. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like it juices it up. And, and in that moment, her energy changes because her mind is there in that moment as though it were real, as though it has already happened. So now she steps into the audition. It's already happened. And if you do it enough, right? Because you guys, we can make ourselves believe anything. We're really good. We're really good at convincing ourselves of things. Most of you are really good at convincing yourself that you'll never get it, that you have something to prove, that if you're not good enough, that everybody else is more talented or has better resume than you do or whatever. So why don't we use this power for good instead of evil? So this is one of the tools that we, you know, that we teach our singers that I wanted to share with you guys today. And to have somebody like Annie, who works with the singers in our program, who is right at the tip of the spear of her own career, meaning, you know, in the same way that I tell you guys that I eat my own cooking, I'm not telling you guys to do anything that I'm already not doing. And so is she so that when she comes in and she coaches in our technique pods and with our singers in studio class, in addition to me, you're not, you know, th th those singers are not just getting one perspective, they're getting another perspective of somebody who's just as in it and just as knowledgeable, who knows the method and the system inside and out, and who's been really successful at using it in her own career as well. And so I want to invite you guys to experience more of Annie and more of me and more of, you know, the, the mind body method that we're talking about here in our upcoming free workshop. So we have an experience that we like to give you guys periodically, which is a free masterclass series. And we have another one coming up on September 30th, seven days for free. 
because I want you guys to experience what it's like to train mind and body, skill set and mindset to get better results in a shorter period of time. So it's the Pro Singer Career Accelerator Masterclass Series. You will get to work with me. You will get to work with Annie. There's seven days of content pack training for free again, because I want you guys to know what it's like to train a different way. Traditional training doesn't always work for people to get higher level results. So September 30th through October 7th, it is 90 minutes each day and you're gonna get things for your technique. We're gonna work on higher level breath support. We're gonna work on higher level resonance, being able to nail it when it counts in these auditions, how mind and body work together to be able to help you stand out from the competition, to be able to own your voice and own your special sauce, just like Annie was talking about, because the conditions between mind and body are working for you instead of against you, sabotaging the results that you actually want. And so that's what this Pro Singer Career Accelerator Masterclass Series is all about, giving you really foundational tools that you can go out and use like right away. Because guys, it's September. You know, we're coming into audition season here, especially for those of you who do a lot of Broadway auditions, opera auditions. Like this is a heavy audition season because they're casting for the next year right now. So I want to make sure that we're doing this workshop right now and that you have access to these foundational tools right now so that you can start to get better results in your performances. You feel more confident that you know how to get mind and body working together so that you can land more elite gigs, higher paying gigs, bring the kind of opportunities that you know you're right there for, but that right now are going to other singers so that you're the one who's landing them because you know you can because you've cultivated this connection in order to do it. So comment masterclass below and we will get you the link to be able to register for free so that you don't miss it. All right, guys. Bye. Hey guys, if you want to attend our next free seven day online pro singer career accelerator masterclass series, which you absolutely should do, then click that square button in the left hand corner down there to register and I will see you inside.